Good morning to you, sir. I am Karen, the knight's wife, and I bid you glad welcome in my house. I am Plug. I am a blacksmith, and a good one if I do say it myself. My wife, Lisa. Curtsy to the gentleman, Lisa. Lisa's difficult to handle sometimes, and every now and then we have our little differences. But in the long run, we're no worse off than anyone else. From the darkness in which I dwell, I call unto thee, O Lord. Have mercy on us, and send down my light to guide us, for we are weak and afraid, and we lack knowledge. In that darkness where you claim to dwell, the darkness which all of us share, there is no one to hear your plea, no one to answer you, no one to ease your suffering. Dry your tears and wrap yourself in a cloak of indifference. Lord, you who are there somewhere, who must be there somewhere, Lord, have mercy upon us. I've got a remedy to cure the constipation in your spirit, but now it's much too late. In these last minutes, take the time to appreciate the wonder of being able to wiggle your toes and roll your eyes. Shh. Quiet. I shall be quiet, but under protest. Mia, I see them, Mia. I see them. Up on the hill with the clouds behind them. They're up there, all of them. The Smith and Lisa. The Knight and Raval and Yance and Scat. And Death, the Taskmaster, leads them in their dance. Their hands are joined, and they all dance in a long line. Death comes first with his scythe and his hourglass. And poor old cat, he straggles behind them at the end of the line. They go further away, away from the sunrise, in their stately den, to the dark country beyond the horizon, while the rain gently washes their faces and cleanses the tears from their cheeks. Oh, Jop, you and your vision. 